Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome as well. I'm very excited for today's video. We are going to be talking about a very important macronutrient and that is protein. All macronutrients are important. However, protein is our focus today. Protein is often hailed as the building blocks of life. That is because it aids in a very important bodily functions, including hormone regulation, immune health, and most importantly, muscle building. If you are someone who goes to the gym regularly, especially if you strength train, protein is even more important because when you work out, you have micro tears in your muscle and protein is the one that comes in and fixes those tears and it makes your muscles grow bigger and stronger. Increasing protein in your diet is so important because it not only keeps you fuller longer, so you notice when you have a high protein breakfast, you feel less sluggish and you feel less hungry throughout the day. That's because protein keeps you fuller for longer. And protein also builds lean muscle mass. And when you have lean muscle, it burns fat. So protein is actually able to aid in fat loss, which is the whole point of this video and my goals. So how much protein do you really need every day? Well, according to a quick Google search for optimal function, you need about 0.8 to one gram of protein per kilogram of body fat. So for me, I weigh 68 kilograms. So that means I need about 54 to 68 grams of protein every single day for optimal health. Now, if you are someone who works out, that number goes up significantly. It goes up to about 1.2 to 1.7 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Now for me, that would be about 81 to 115 grams of protein. However, I pick the middle number. If I can get 100 grams of protein every single day, I'm happy. I don't track any other of my macronutrients because I just don't think that I'm deficient in those parts. The only part that I struggle with is protein and that's the only macronutrient that I track. So if I'm able to hit 100 grams of protein every day, thumbs up to myself. Now, getting enough protein does not have to be dreadful. You don't have to shovel a bunch of dry chicken breasts into yourself at 11 p.m. to hit your protein target. As someone who used to struggle with protein intake, trust me, I used to eat like 40 grams of protein a day. As someone who struggles, I find that supplementation is what works best for me. I prefer to eat carbs. And so if I'm not looking, I will easily eat like 200 grams, 300 grams of carbs, and then only like 40 grams of protein. And that is not a balanced diet, especially for my goals. So what I do is I supplement. I eat protein bars, I eat, drink protein shakes, and I drink bone broth. My bone broth I buy from the store, I don't make it. My protein bars, I have been tried a lot of protein bars and the only one that I can stomach, I'll leave on the screen here. Same with protein shakes, I've tried a lot of them. And the only one I can stomach, I will also leave on the screen. <laughs> with supplementation in my diet, I get 60 grams of protein just by supplementation. And then the remaining 40 I get from my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so it's very easy for me to get in enough protein because I know that if I just have my protein shakes and my, and my protein bar and as well as my bone broth, I'll hit my goal. And so a lot of times these days, I actually find that I go over 100. Sometimes I'm like 120, 130 grams of protein, which I never thought I would see the day where I would eat that much protein. When I go to the grocery store, I opt for higher protein options. Um, so I'll pick a milk that's high in protein. I'll pick yogurt that's high in protein. I'll pick cottage cheese, meats. So lean ground beef, salmon, chicken, all of those are high in protein. I'll pick high protein carbs. So chickpeas, lentils, the chickpea pasta, anything that's like high in protein. Um, right now, a lot of companies are coming out with a lot of high protein snacks and high protein meal options. In the next part of this video, I'm going to show you my high protein meal prep for the week. Um, I'm not a chef. I just eat what works for me. So don't judge my meal prep, okay? So before the gym, I like to have a glass of bone broth. 
The bone broth I use is between 10 to 15 grams. The one I'm using today is 10 grams of protein. I put it in a mug and I add water and mix it up and then I enjoy it. It's a nice way to start the morning. It literally takes 10 minutes. Um, and then I head to the gym. My gym is only like five minutes away from my house, so it's really nice. After the gym, I like to have one of these premier protein shakes. That is 30 grams of protein. So after the gym, I've already had 40 grams of protein before breakfast. Now for breakfast, we are doing an overnight oats. So the breakfast has 21 grams of protein. For that, we are using half a cup of quick oats. Um, oats are really high in fiber, good source of protein, just good for you. Um, and then we add a tablespoon of chia seeds and flax seeds. And then we have two cups of 2% milk and some frozen strawberries, which we blend together. And then I add half a cup of, it ends up being about half a cup of the milk mixture into the oatmeal mixture. Um, we stir that together. Then here you can see I use this Greek yogurt. It's my favorite Greek yogurt. I add about, I'd say half of three quarters. That ends up being like 0 0.38, <laughs> 0 0.38 cups of uh, Greek yogurt. And then I add some frozen strawberries. And then I also topped it off with some frozen blueberries, but that part got cut out. Um, and then I close it up, put it in the fridge. I made four, um, I made four of these. It's 348 calories and it's 21 grams of protein. Um, it's so simple, so easy. Now for my lunch, I didn't even bother prepping this because it's so quick to make. Um, I use a high protein bread, which I toast, and then I spread that with cottage cheese. I used about a total of half a cup of cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is so high in protein, there's almost no excuse to not eat it. And then I add some smoked salmon slices. This is like my favorite lunch. Honestly, I am obsessed. I have this every single day. Um, and then I top it with everything but the bagel season seasoning that I got from Trader Joe's. And then I also top it up with some chili oil. Now that's it. It's 412 calories and 42 grams of protein. Honestly, it is so good. Um, I wish you could taste it through the screen. Now I like to add a green smoothie to my lunch because my lunch doesn't really have veggies in it. Um, so I just put a whack load of spinach, honestly, just stuff it in there. And then I add um, some water, I blend up the spinach. This is how you'll get your smoothie to be smooth. And then I add some yogurt to it. And then I add two whole bananas and then some frozen mangoes to the mix and then I blend it all up um, and then I make it really smooth. I, there's nothing worse than having spinach chunks in your teeth. And then I split it up into three mason jars and then that's, it only tastes good for three days so I only make enough for three days. Um, Trust me, you'll know if you, if you know, you know. And then the calories are so inconsequential that they're like 150 calories each. For this one, we are making this veggie bowl um, with purple yams and some goat meat stew. Um, as you can see, I basically like set everything up so into containers and then I store them in the fridge and then I either pack them for work or um, I ate them in a plate depending on what was going on um, now I'm talking too much anyways we're steaming broccoli here um, I don't season my broccoli or anything I mean I don't feel like I need seasoning to eat broccoli so I just steam it and that's it and then now we prepare our purple sweet yams this is so good I love Purple sweet yams, they're, the, they're like my favorite potato-esque thing. Um, I clean them, chop them, wash them. 
rinse them, and then I boil them. And then I put them into a oven safe dish. And then I season them. Um, I put some oil and then I season them with salt. Um, this looks like paprika, um, oregano, and some pepper. And then I put it in the oven to roast a little. And this is it. It is so good. And then now I like to have some peppers and onions just for like some texture. Basically, I just chop it up, put it in a pan. I don't even season it. Don't put oil in it. Just put it in the oven for about 20 minutes and then it comes out like this and then I put it on my food. It's really good. And then we do some um, cauliflower rice. Basically, I just put it in a microwave safe bowl and then I microwave it for, I think it's like four or five minutes. It says so on the bag. And then I put a lid on it, put it in the fridge. And now we are doing um, the goat meat. This is the most time, time consuming. I wash my meat. And then to a pot, I add some oil and then I add the goat meat to it. And then I brown the goat meat, um, basically just frying it up. And then I season it right in the pot, um, turn it around, let it brown and absorb the seasoning. I take out the goat meat from the pot and then I add some onions and garlic to the same pot and I mix that around until it's soft and then I roast some peppers in the oven. Um, I put that in for a few minutes and then I blend it all up um, to this. These peppers are not spicy so I add some scotch bonnet peppers to it. I add about three and then I blend it all up and then I put that mixture into the same pot um, with our onions and our seasonings. I let all the flavors marinate together and then I let it cook for a bit before I add the goat meat again. I stir that all up together um, and then I cover it and let it sit and rest for a bit. And then we are left with this glorious goat meat stew. It tasted so good. Um, this is the whole meal prep so as you can see I put it in containers and put it into the fridge and then I let myself decide during the week if I want to eat it in a plate or if I'm going to work or if I have other plans I'll pack it in a meal prep container um, and then that's it for dinner. Dinner had 364 calories um, and then it had 26 grams of protein. Um, and then that is it for my meals. We are moving on into snacks. So for snacks, basically you can see the chicken broth I'm showing, uh, the bone broth, and then we have some protein bars. I use this Robert Irvine's protein bar. Honestly, it's my favorite. Um, and then we have this protein shake, which is a premier protein and it has 30 grams of protein. Honestly, I think it's the only protein shake that I can stomach. And then we have the Quest protein bars, which is 18 grams. I don't mind that one. And then these turkey bites are also really good. 90 calories, two sausages have 12 grams of protein. So honestly, it's really, really, really good. And that's it. Um, the total for the day was 1797, so 1800 calories and 161 grams of protein. I screamed when I added that up. Um, I only added it up for the purposes of this video. I don't track my calories. So when I saw that amount, I was shocked, but I'm so glad that you guys stuck, stood here and stuck along with me um, and that's it. So that is it for the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, let me know if you're going to try these recipes down below. If you need clarifications on anything, leave me a comment and I will respond to you. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!